So I get asked about flail mowers on the channel all the time. The question I get is, do you think a flail mower is better than a rotary cutter? When I say rotary cutter, I mean brush hog, brush cutter, bush hog, all those other names that rotary cutters go by. I really couldn't answer that question until now. Titan Attachments was nice enough to send this flail mower to us to test out and give you guys our feedback on it. This is a no strings attached demonstration. We can say anything we want to about the product. People that watch our channel know we're gonna say what we think, but we're gonna be fair. To see what this flail mower is made of, we're going to torture it in this overgrown field. This is really heavily matted grass uh, and also small trees and just a bunch of briars. This type of field will challenge any kind of cutter on the market. I'm going to leave a link to the information for this particular flail mower in the description of this video. And for all of my naysayers, no, I will not get paid for anybody that buys one of these. Hey, just stay with us because in this same video, we're going to mow uh, just some grass, a grass field and show you what it does. You could actually probably use this as a finish mower. So I started bringing this little battery powered uh, blower with me just to blow out the radiator when I go through tall grass. I want to point out one other thing though, is once I blew the radiator out once and then started mowing to the side of the, of the tractor, I had no more issues of clogging up the radiator. So by this flail mower swinging off to the side, that in itself is a huge attribute. I guess our second attribute is gonna be how well this mulches. If you look at this uh, little portion of the video right here, this grass is extremely high. It's probably on the level of four feet, four and a half feet tall. Uh, easily to the top of the tractor seat and when you see what comes out the back of it it is completely mulched down and I don't know of any other cutter that will do that it usually ends up like piling up little piles of grass this basically mulches it into tiny little pieces and then evenly distributes it out the back here's another angle in this view you can see the absolute carnage that this is no joke like thick, just terribly thick brush. And this flail mower just chews it up like it's nothing. I mean, it's obvious in my comments that I'm impressed and I am impressed. And I think anybody that can see this should be impressed too. Notice a little tree going in and see what comes out. After I go through the list of attributes, I'll go through a list of cons. But also remember, we're gonna show you this thing mow regular grass and kind of show you what it looks like it's just a regular yard mower so another attribute is it seems to need a little bit less horsepower versus a, a traditional rotary cutter i acknowledge that this is only four foot but you have to admit this is some pretty gnarly stuff it's going through now, this is probably one of the best examples of what it can do i i just there's nothing left. I mean, it's just little wood chips that come out the back and that's a pretty decent sized tree. And this tractor only has about 17 and a half PTO horsepower. That's not a lot to perform like this. Here's another attribute. You can hang this mower off to the side or mow directly behind you. But when you hang it off to the side, it lets you get up under the tree line a little bit better. Well, maybe a lot a bit better. To me, this is a big deal. So the fact that you can mow directly behind you or offset to the right gives you a lot of flexibility in how you mow. So let's say for example, you're mowing some pretty light grass. You put it behind you and you can go pretty fast. I'm not sure that this video does justice. This grass has grown up, died, fell down, and grown up again. It's really heavily matted here. And the further we get down the field to the end, the thicker it gets. Answer me a question in the comments. Do you think your rotary cutter will mulch up grass this high? Now don't take this as an insult for a rotary cutter. 
I think rotary cutters have their place. So Tanya's always gave us some really cool video clips from the, the big camera. Why don't you take a look at these uh, pictures and videos from the drone. She's getting really good with the drone also. This end of the field gets a lot more sunshine and you can see that it's really thick and tall here. There's actually quite a few small trees in this area. One more quick question. Do you think this flail mower is worth 30% more than a flail mower that's stationary? Here's another attribute. You can mow up to a 65 degree angle by tilting the cylinder left or right. It gives you a lot of flexibility when mowing around ponds, ditch banks, even mowing uphill. Now here comes one of the key attributes that I'm not really good at operating yet, but this is the first time that I've ever really done this. But I can see how this is gonna be a huge benefit. Just mowing over this, you know, this driveway. So I promised you I'd show you what it looked like mowing over a grass yard. And this is not even really good grass, but it does a wonderful job. It, it makes sense that it does a really good job because you're not driving over the grass before you mow it. And any other type of mower, you're gonna drive over it. So I have a short list of cons I wanna go over. First off, the price is more. It's about 30% more than a conventional flail mower or a conventional rotary cutter. It's also pretty heavy, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's heavy and maybe a little bit too much for a subcompact tractor if you're trying to use it on hillsides. Now, stuff like this, a subcompact tractor is perfect. It can handle it. This TYM T264 or the new T25 is just about perfectly matched for this. The last con is, if it's a con at all, you will need to have dual rear remotes. In this case, I use the Summit add-on kit, which makes my single remote into a dual remote. I'm going to do a video on that really, really soon. Hey, I want to wrap this video up and talk a little bit about how the flail mower works. We've seen it go through some really tall, thick grass, and it just done amazing a job of mulching that and then we have seen it go through just regular grass that had a lot of uh, built up I don't know leftover grass from where I mowed when it's too long before and it did a pretty good job of sucking that off the ground and mulching it up again so I want to talk about this little roller right here so this is what the the unit rolls on uh, some flail mowers you can adjust this roller up and down uh, this particular flail mower it adjusts height a different way uh, this is stationary and then when the flail mower is laying on the ground, if you raise the front of the three-point hitch up, it has, a, it has a slide in the top link, and it'll let you lift and lower the front of the flail mower, and that raises the cutter head up and down. I hope that makes sense. So we'll talk about the, the head here. This rotates around at a really high speed. These are your hammers. Uh, the hammers swing around at a really high speed, and they pinch... Uh, I guess not really pinch, but they uh, cause a lot of friction as they go by this group of teeth right here. These teeth is what causes the unit to mulch so well. It does a great job mulching. So, and another thing is, is as this thing is going by, if the hammer, if something gets in between this, instead of just breaking this off, the hammers will rotate backwards like this. Uh, this unit's really tough. Flail mowers are really tough. I will say that they're probably a little bit more expensive to operate than a rotary cutter, but they do a better job as far as a more, a more finished look in the field. All right, I want to talk about the chain in front. Now, this keeps things from throwing out the front. It, I guess it technically could uh, hit something and want to send it out this way. I, I find that the flail mower keeps everything inside this chamber. I had had nothing throw at me. Uh, whereas, you know, you have a, a rotary cutter, it will throw things out the back and sometimes out the front. Finish mower will throw out the front, throw out the back. This keeps everything in this chamber spinning and mulches it. And by the time it gets ready to come out, it's, uh, it's just the small stuff that exits over the top of this wheel. It, it, is a, it does a, a good job of not throwing things around. 
Hey, I appreciate you watching our channel. God bless and have a great day.